Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear and I know it's a bit windy out here but I've really got to get this video done so we're out here in the wind, a bit of rain and whatnot. So um, in front of you guys we have a uh, Convoy C8 um, it's the one that takes the 21700 so like the M21A um, and it's using a Cree XHP 50.3 HI so um, I figured I'll come out here and get some beam shots because I, I did build the Convoy L6 with the XHP 50.3 HI but it's a bit hard to compare it to other lights so I figured side by side this would be a lot better to build it in a C8 so it's not doing crazy amps it's only actually doing about 20 odd watts uh, from the towel, towel cap so it's only doing like 3 amps to the LED using one of the Convoy boost drivers but um, as you can see, it's still plenty bright. It puts out 2,650 lumens on the highest mode, which should be this mode here. And it only does about 20 something watts. I actually wrote it down on a piece of paper here, but the wind's blowing everything around, so it's a bit hard to see. So we have 2,656 lumens um, on the highest mode. And it does about 90,000 C, C, CD. So output-wise, it does very, very good. Like, I got one of these in my L6 that's doing 4,000 lumens. Um, Throw-wise, isn't exactly what I'd call great. So measuring it at different distances, I got between 80,000 CD to about 99,000 CD. But we'll call it in the middle. It's about a 90,000 CD light in a C8. Um, so not exactly great for throw. So this first tree here, I forgot my cones. So this first tree here is 50 meters. The second trees are about 100 meters and then those trees down there are about 150. Luckily I've done this now lots of, lots of times here. So um, you can see it does light up quite a fair bit of area, but you can see it is pretty floody compared to, to throw wise. So we will compare it to the SFT40 and um, uh, SST40 and see how it does. So it puts out more lumens than the SFT40 but without doing as many amps. So the SFT40 does about 10 amps at the towel cap to produce 2,500 lumens. This does more lumens and only about half the amps. It's only pulling like about 5 amps at the towel cap. I think it was 5.2 or 5.3 amps at the towel cap. So it's quite an efficient LED, but then again, it is a six volt LED, so you would expect it to be more efficient. Um, so yeah, what else is there to tell you guys? Let me look at my piece of paper here. So I think we got all the specs, pretty much. I'll definitely um, overlay some pictures and um, show you guys the light and uh, how we got the results and whatnot. So if we go to the back there at 400 meters, you can like, nah, it's not gonna, no way it's gonna come out on camera because I can barely see it in person. Let me just cycle modes. So lowest mode, you can see it's on there, the lowest mode. It's mode two. We'll go to the tree here. Mode three, four, and five should be the highest mode. And we'll go to the back there, yeah. It's not like an overall great thrower, like 90,000 CD is not bad considering like an XML2 would have only done like maybe 50,000 back in the days, 50, 55,000 in a C8. The SST40 performs pretty similar to, to this, but um, yeah. So we'll leave this light on here and we'll pull out the whatever light is here. Which light is this? This is the SST40 uh, here. So SST40 to the right, uh, Cree XBL, no, Cree XHB 50.3 HI to the left, left here is the Cree, right is Luminous SST40. So you can see it's definitely the SST40 because it's got more of a neutral white tint. Um, there's definitely more output um, from the um, from the XHB 50. Throat wise, I reckon they're about the same. We'll turn off the um, Cree. We'll just cycle modes on this. So that's the um, Luminous SST40 on there. Nice neutral white tint. 
So you can see your throw is pretty similar. It doesn't have quite as much output, but these things only do what? About 2,200 lumens. And that is the um, XHP 50.3 HI there. You know, it does get to the back trees at 200 meters pretty good, but then again, it is super floody. So it kind of depends on what kind of beam pattern that you want. All right, we'll turn on the um, SS, SFT40 now, and we'll see how that does. So SFT40 here to the right, and we've got the uh, Cree XHP 50.3 HI. Fuck, that's a long name to say, eh? So Luminous here, Cree here. You can see the Luminous, like, outthrows it by heaps. So that's the Luminous SFT40 there on by itself. You know, it does put out almost as much light, but it's not a stable output and it does burn through the uh, battery a lot faster considering it's pulling like 10 amps you, you know you're only going to get like maybe max 20 minutes and that's your step step down while the um, XHP 50.3 HI is going to give you a lot more sustained output we'll step it back back, back up there and this is the XHP 50.3 HI on so you can see the SFT is definitely a lot throwier, but it does put out a little bit less light, only a few hundred lumens maybe. We'll cycle modes on this driver. The highest mode, two, three, four, five, and there we go. Yeah, that's heaps floodier. Yeah, look at how much floodier that, 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 that is. So, you know, we got the XHP 50.3 HI, it's at about 90,000 CD, and this um, SFT40 does about, somewhere around about um, 169,000, so quite a big difference. Anyway guys, I just thought I'd just give you guys a quick video on the uh, Cree XHP 50.3 HI. I'm a little bit disappointed in throw, to be honest. But power output is, is is there. If you want to overdrive it, you should be able to get three, four thousand lumens from this LED pretty easy. So keep that in mind. But it's not going to have the most throw. But it doesn't do too bad. It does do better than does around about the same as the SST forty. So it's not too bad. Anyway, guys, I ho I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.